While 1976 saw some iconic artists appear on screen for the very first time, for others it was the year of the comeback. Like this snappy chappy, who had recently and controversially relocated to LA, something the British press didn't seem willing to drop when he set foot back on UK soil. You've come in for quite a bit of stick for settling in the States. What do you say to that? I didn't realise I'd come in for a great deal of stick. Your From parents who? aren't very happy about it. Please. No, I think they're quite happy about it. How much money do you think you've saved in taxes? Mind your own business. Do you feel that you should perhaps have stayed here and pumped your money back into this country? I mean, it has been said, hasn't it? Yeah, I suppose I could at home, but uh, I also need a couple of bob for retirement. You know, I can't be doing this for the rest of my life. Well, Rob the Mod was never going to take that sort of criticism lying down. Or was he? Oh, yeah. Well, back in the UK, the laid-back singer appeared on children's TV to perform one of his most poignant songs. In these days of changing ways, the so-called liberated days, a story comes to mind of a friend of mine. Georgie Ball was gay, I guess. Nothing more or nothing less. The finest guy I ever knew. His mother's tears fell in vain. The afternoon jumps tried to explain that he needed love like all the rest. Paul said there must be a mistake. How can my son not be straight? After all I said and done for him. Greyhound bus cast out by the ones he loves, a victim these gay days it seems. Oh. Georgie went to New York town where he quickly settled down, soon became the toast of the great white way. Accepted by Manhattan's elite In all the places that was chic No party was complete without George Along the boulevards he'd cruise And all the old queens blew and fuse Everybody loved George, boy Oh, yeah. 